Led by Kitui Governor Charity Ngilu at the Bombers of Kenya during the launch of the BBI report, women leaders said the judiciary should ensure that the law is adhered to in their top leadership, saying that the current constitution did not conclusively give guidelines on how the two-third rule was to be achieved. The issue of two-third gender rule has not been addressed in this proposed constitution. Remember, there is a serious threat of Chief Justice Marag that we must have a two-third gender rule. And the is that it is not others, it is we women who are targeted. You see, the seven depositions that will be given to the National Assembly, then put it there that they will all, all of them, go to women. All of them. Perfect. Second. Sentiments that were echoed by Halikoni counterpart Mishimboko, who felt the report will elevate more women into leadership. Vile vile katika seneta, sasa hivi tulikuwa tu na masenesa wateuliwa, kumina sita na wale watatu tu wachache walio chaguliwa. Lakini sasa tutapata sauti ya kina mama walio chaguliwa kikura, watakao kuwa na haki ya kupigia kura, pale katika bunge la seneti na kuweza kufanya maamuzi ya kuhusu mambo ya county government zetu pale mashinani. On his part, the deputy president William Ruto reiterated that the involvement and participation of women in the country's governance makes the country stronger so long as the Senate retains its power. When women go to the Senate, they are going to a Senate which has been downgraded, which has no responsibility on matters of resource allocation. Are you enhancing the participation of women or are you downgrading the participation of women? According to the Constitution, the powers of the Senate include lawmaking, allocation of national revenue, oversight of the President and his deputy, the Senate Speaker and his deputy, as well as governors. However, speaking to women in different parts of the country, there are a section of those who say they need a better understanding of what the BBI report has in store for them before they decide on whether or not to vote for the report. Robbie Omondi K24 Evening Edition